So what's up guys? Better Best Dog here, Fit Bullet TV. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Here with my man, I am Stan the Dog Man from Iron Sharp K9. And of course, we got my guy, Jamil, behind the camera with Decoy J Kit. Boom, Decoy J Kit right there. So today, the big man, as you guys all know, he's out of town. So like I said, I have something special for you guys. We're actually here at a place called Legacy West here in Dallas, Texas, or in Plano, Texas. And what it is, is basically it's a big strip mall. And you can walk in, there's restaurants, there's shops, all kinds of stuff like that. There's a lot of foot traffic up and down this thing. A lot of different obstacles that we can also introduce the dogs to as well too. So I know he brought Boot Main, I brought King Tut, and then we also have Creed as well too. So we're gonna show you three different perspectives on how our dogs operate in these type of environments and some things that you all can give you guys some tips on things that you guys can do as well to go out in these type of environments to build your dog's confidence up, desensitize them, socialize, socialize them, and all those good things. Anything else you wanna add? Nah, he, he said a mouthful there, so <laughs> we're gonna get the dogs out and then show you some things, like you said, give you examples of what to do in different situations, see how the dogs interact, their body language, and what you can do to make your dog better. Awesome. As always, stay tuned, take care of your dogs. So as you see right now, Tut wants to be a little difficult for no reason, and he's been in and out of this door a hundred times. But now it's getting to the point, he sees a different environment, I think, is what the case is. A lot more cars, he's never been in a garage before. What you got? Noise, traffic noise, all that. Traffic noise, all that good stuff. Each time the dog gets into a new experience, especially as a puppy, it is that a new experience. Even your older dogs, because the smells, the sights, the sounds, the temperature, the weather is going to be different. So you got to make sure you expose your dog to as many situations as you can. Make them successful and they'll be there for you. Stuff. All right, people, stay tuned. We're about to get all kinds of crazy stuff. So it's gonna be fun. All right, also, what we're about to do right now. So, you know, we just walked from our cars, even just walking through this garage. You can see some hesitance at time with Tut. Completely new environment. Now we're about to hit the elevator. First things first. What, what, what you got for us, big man? Hey, let's just see what happens. So, we're gonna push the elevator. Put that truck go for us. Okay. Alright, so now we're waiting for the elevator to come back. We gotta press the button again. Dang. <laughs> so wait for the elevator to come back. I know um, just a couple weeks back when we were at the park, we had issues with Tut and Cha Cha and Bam Bam. They were barking at people, barking at children. They ran up on a little kid, didn't do anything, but they ran up on them because they didn't expose too much. So, what do we do right after that? We head over to Arbor Hill. Boom, and we're making sure we're hitting those places like three times a week so they are seeing kids, bikes, people, people, people. That's the big thing early on is you want to get them exposed to people early, early on as well. Um, we just had a group of people that just pulled up, didn't phase either of them. And Tut normally would bark, but I've been making sure we've been, like I said, hitting those grounds. I even took him to the gas station a few different times and just posted up at a picnic table and let them watch people get in and out of their cars, walk inside, hear people putting air in their tires, all those little things go a long way as far as just as far as desynthesizing. And things like this for sure right here. So let's see how they do. Alright Tut. Oh, Remember they gotta trust you. Yes. Here. There you go. Oh. Better than I thought they were good boys. Some slight hesitancy. Yeah. But um, so that's good. I mean, like he said, your dog has to trust you, and you build that relationship. And you don't start out bringing your dog here. You want them to trust you in non what stressful environments like this before you come out in places like this because you can push your dog to the left. And once they go too far left, you're gonna be having a problem here. So always start slow. Mark that dog's confidence. He looked at me. He's ready. Right, 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 get out of here. Come on, Tut. <laughs> Have you done stairs with Tut at all? Oh, man, it was a stair king. Come on, Tut, let's go. Let's go over there. Don't show me what happens. The moment you say, oh, yeah. Come on, there you go. He's a stair master. 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 He's there you go. Good boy. So, Marcus, one thing that you can do is you said he's a stair master, right? Yeah. So, 
you put him in these situations and you get his confidence up okay. in a new place. So when you go anywhere new, you want to build his confidence. So you want to start with the stuff that you know he's going to be successful at gotcha. before you start doing the stressful stuff. Because you always want him to be thinking, I can do it, I can do so it. So it's like a warm up. Yeah. It's just like in basketball. You have warm ups, you do the layup lines, and then you go to the shots, and then you start running the plays, and then you play your game. That makes a lot of sense. Same yeah. concept here. You get them out, it's just simple stuff at the very beginning. You don't want to put too much stress on them mm -hmm. because they will get pushed to the left. Gotcha. Once he's in that mode, then then. Yeah. So, one more time, after they go up, okay. I'd run up again, just have a big ball with them. Because you want that tail to kind of be more. Gotcha. Up. See, it's kind of hanging down a little bit. styles of training going on here. With Boots, it's gonna be more controlled, precise stuff, exactly expected what he's expected to do. But with Tut, we're trying to build his confidence. So there's gonna be more leisure, more fun, more experience. And we're gonna do the same thing with Boots, it's just gonna be on a different type of level. And we've been working with him since he was seven weeks old. So we have a little bit of a head start on Jamarcus and Tut. And you've only been working with him, what, about two months ago? Well, yeah, just about a couple months now. So he yeah. started a little behind the eight ball and he has to build up that confidence and that relationship before he can really start asking all of that controlled stuff. So you're gonna see us doing a little bit different things with our dogs, but that's the reason why. All right, let's go and take him over here to this bench. Of course, there he goes. <laughs> and of course, there he goes. And he jumps. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing that Trev had me do one time, I was trying to get him on a picnic table. I, tried, I couldn't get up on the first step, let alone on top of the table. And I stood up on top of the table for like five, ten minutes while Trev walked his whole lap. And he came back and he was like, you know, you could have probably reverse engineered that and started at the top so that he can climb down and then understand it's not that big of a feat. And then what happened once I did that, he climbed down and when I went right back up it, he went right back up it two seconds later. So I was getting ready to do that with him, but then you just saw he just jumped over it. So obviously we, ch we checked mark one, but to have that like level of focus, that's what we want. All right, Ty, come here. Up. So he already knows he can get up here now. There we go. Good boy. Once your dog has done something one time, they know that they can. So sometimes, like you said, you can reverse engineer, you can start them at the top, they get down, nothing happens, they're going to be more likely to want to get back up there. Again, if nothing happens and they got their reward. Does he like tugs and stuff? Hmm? Yeah, he likes tugs, he likes ball. Tug. He to get him to change his mentality Ooh. a little bit. he wants to hold it, I'm going to let him carry it. Huh? It's kind of like a pacifier. Uh -huh. Look at his tail now. Okay. You see it's up. That's what we're wanting. We're wanting that picture whenever you're out with your dog. You want confidence. You don't want your dog to be worried. And you're not going to make them be worried by stressing them out by doing, you know, simple treat stuff. You're going to use what the dog likes. Use that high value reward. If your dog loves food, use that. If they're more of a prey dog that likes tugs and balls, you're going to use that. But again, you want to use what your dog likes most to get them through these stressful situations. 
So, as you saw, we got the dogs on the elevator. We got them on these what is this platform here with the fountains. water yeah. fountains going around. And we're just building the dog's confidence. And when you're building the dog's confidence, it's a slow process. So you don't want to do too much with them because if you have win, 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 and then they have a loss, especially like a dog like Tut, where we're trying to build his confidence up a lot, is you can lose ground. And you don't want to lose ground whenever you're working with your dog. You want to make sure every time you work with them, you try to get them to be better than they were the last time you worked with them. And it's a small wins, and those small wins pay off to those big rewards when you see the dogs going down the Space Coast, when you see them jumping through the windows of cars, getting on top of cars and all of that. The confidence starts at this age and it starts with you. So if you're confident in leading your dog in the right direction, they're gonna be there for you and they're gonna follow your lead. So if you want a better dog, like he said earlier, you gotta be better yourself. So y'all stay tuned. If you have any questions, if this video helped you guys out, let us know in the comment section. If you wanna see more stuff like this, again, let us know. We're here to assist you guys in anything that you need in your dog training journey. And one thing that I wanna piggyback off of real quick is you know, the part about where the dog's gotta trust you, right? These dogs can feel energy. Yes. And one thing that I know that I always kept, I was always too serious in everything that we did. I was never having fun. So, and I would be getting frustrated and the dogs can feel all this stuff. And when you're in environments like that, that good energy really, really matters because if you're nervous that they're gonna be nervous, then they're gonna be nervous. But if you come out, you're confident, like you're about to have a good time, they were actually able to ease into a lot of things relatively easily because like I said, we've been working up to this. But as always, people get out there, just have fun with your dogs. Like you said, get out here, be better because your dogs will be better. And as always, take care of your dogs. Good boy, Ted, did great to you. So when you're getting out with your dog, again, confidence is important. Yes, control, getting them into positions, yes, is important. But when you're out here in public, let your dog be a dog. So there's going to be times where they're going to walk in front of you. There's going to be times where they're going to sniff around. And that helps build your relationship. If everything is always, do this, do this, do this, when that dog has a small window of opportunity to go do something else, they're going to choose to do that. So as you see us walking down, we're letting our dogs walk in front. They're sniffing around. They're getting to do what they need to. But in the same sentence, if we need the control, here, he's going to have that as well. Yes, sir. So again, stay tuned, guys. Take care of your dogs, and they're going to be there for you. But you got to let your dog be a dog sometimes. <laughs>